Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to get the Meteor Hacked client for Minecraft 1.21.1. This is currently the latest version. First we're going to go ahead and go to the Meteor client website. We're going to go ahead and click on this dev build here. This is the second purple button down. And it should say 1.21.1. I'm going to go ahead and click that. And it's going to give us a little window pop up here. We're going to wait a few seconds and then hit this little red skip button over in the top right corner. It will then prompt us of where we want to save our download. So I'm going to go ahead and save this client to the desktop. Next, we're going to go ahead and go over to the Fabric installer. We're going to go to fabricmc.net. I'm going to click this download for Windows button. Uh, or you can cancel and you can go ahead and click the little link underneath the download for Windows button if you so choose. I'm going to go ahead and save this to desktop. Now if you do click the one that is underneath the big Windows button, we're going to want to go ahead and download Java as well. So just go ahead over to this link here and download Java. This is so we can run .jar files. Go ahead and save this to the desktop and that is everything that we need to download for now. Now that we have all these folders downloaded, the first thing you want to click on is the Java setup. We can go ahead and double click this and it should give us a little run prompt window. You can go ahead and tap yes when it gives you an option and it should give you this little pop-up window that says welcome to Java. Go ahead and hit install and this should go ahead and install Java. This shouldn't take too long and once it's done it should say you have successfully installed Java. This is just necessary if you're not using the big blue button but the link underneath otherwise it will just run an installer. You can go ahead and delete this Java setup now that we've done that. Next thing we're going to hit is the Fabric Installer, so go ahead and open the Fabric Installer and it should give you a little pop-up window that looks something like this. And by default it will be set to the latest Minecraft version which is currently 1.21.1 and that is the version of the Meteor Client that we are using. Go ahead and hit Install, leave everything as it is set to by default and we should get this little window that says Fabric Loader has been successfully installed. Now we can go ahead and click OK and cross this off. And we can go ahead and delete the fabric installer because we no longer need this. Next we're going to go ahead and hit the Windows key and the letter R. And that is going to bring up a little run window that looks something like this. And we're going to go ahead and type percentage app data percentage into this little window here. Then we're going to go ahead and hit OK. And that should open up this window here. Now, once we're in the file explorer, .minecraft should be somewhere in here, normally at the top, depending on how you have it sorted. Go ahead and open .minecraft folder, or the .minecraft folder, and we should scroll down and we're looking for a folder that is named mods. So if you have a folder that is called mods in the, the folder, then you would go ahead and drag this meteor client in here. If you do not have this folder, just go ahead and right click and then go new, and create a folder and name it mods, M-O-D-S. I'm going to go ahead and replace it with the same folder because we already have it here, just using that as an example. Now we can go ahead and open up the mods folder, drag the medial client in here and we have now installed the client. You can then go ahead and run your game. And upon opening the launcher, you should by default in the installations tab have a new installation called Fabric Loader 1.21.1. This is just default setup as soon as you have Create Profile ticked when you run the Fabric Installer. You can go ahead and hit Play. Hit Play again. And once the game is finally loaded, we should know that it has worked when it says Meet Your Client by MindGame159, Squidoodly, and Sea Snail at the top here. It'll also say Minecraft 1.21.1 Fabric Modded down the bottom here. And we can go ahead and go into a single player world now. You can go ahead and create a new world or just load into a world that you already have. And I'll now demonstrate how to open and use the client. I will just create a single player world called Meteor Test World. Alright, so now that we have loaded into a brand new fresh world, we can go ahead and test out this hack client by pressing the right shift button. For reference, that is not the shift button that you crouch with, but the one on the other side of the keyboard. Upon doing this, you should be opened into the modules tab. You will notice that there are two tabs along here. There's one very small one along the top, and there's these pink ones here. You can actually drag the pink ones around 
and to enable one of these hacks you simply left click that's just the normal click that you use to break a block and to disable it you left click again if you want to see extra options that the hack might have you can right click which for reference is the click that you use to place blocks and that will give you extra options for the module to get back out of this you can press the escape key and to get out of the hacks menu completely press the escape key again you can then get back in by pressing the right shift button and if for some reason all of these purple boxes disappear it's probably because you clicked on one of these other buttons along the top bar here to get back to it just click on modules I will now demonstrate one of the hacks this is air place so if we go ahead and enable this hack and we pick up a block we will now be able to place blocks in the middle of the air if we press shift again we can also use air jump which allows us to jump around in the air even if we are in survival mode to demonstrate this I can go into survival mode and with air jump enabled I can still freely jump around the worlds in unnatural ways that you would not normally get with a vanilla client go ahead and disable this there's plenty of other hacks that you can use including flight and the infamous Jesus hack of walking on water no slow parkour scaffolding is one that is also quite useful uh, if you want to build faster please do not use this client uh, to hack on other servers that do not in fact allow hacking uh, this can be a useful modification that can make your experience of gaming more fun uh, or it can be a tool of destruction if you press right shift you will notice that there are in fact combat hacks like for example criticals or kill aura if we were to enable one of these hacks here I can demonstrate kill aura will work quite well on entities if you are if you have the kill aura enabled it should not by default attack everything but you can right shift and click on the kill aura button here and by right clicking on the kill aura button we can select which entities we want the kill aura to attack so you can go ahead and select which entities you want to have attacked you have to by default either tick individual boxes or select entire categories as you can see down here we can scroll all the way down and see all the different types of items that we can set to default attack for example I can click this box here and it will enable attacks for all animals this one for water animals this one for monsters and if we continue to scroll down we can even set a bot to attack various different items or entities that are in fact not mobs or are special mobs here and that is pretty much it you can go ahead and hit escape to get out of there and escape again escape again now that we have this enabled we should be able to go ahead and attack entities such as slime automatically by enabling the kill aura we should okay that did not work okay upon further inspection I have found that with kill aura there are a few settings that you will need to change so go ahead and right click on kill aura you will have to make sure that the rotate is set to none and that the weapon is set to any and you will also have to make sure that the pauses are off and select all the entities that you want to attack first hand you will also need to do a few other things there are optional things here is one this is the bind key so you can go ahead and click on this and press any key that you want to enable or disable the hack you can also toggle on bind release I would recommend leaving this off uh, I have set all of these settings to max as well max targets five making this a multi aura and not a kill aura I've also set the range to six and the walls range to six you would not want to do this on a server with anti-cheat you will just get kicked or banned or whatever uh, so go ahead and hit escape and escape we can now walk up to targets and press K and it will attack multiple targets at once uh, so yeah just a quick little tip there for the kill aura Anyway, thank you for watching and I hope this has helped you to complete your beginning of using Meteor Client.
and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.